morning, everyone. On the road since five o'clock. It is now 7.07. I've got a little bit further to go. Headed up to a lake that I always go to at the end of the year. And it's always done me very well. Uh, first year I did this, I got seven rings off of it one year. I got another seven rings, I think another year, uh, maybe just a few less than that. Um, and so you never know. It's never been just a bad lake. It's always been a pretty good lake. And uh, it's only at this time of the year that I do it. And uh, so we're gonna try it out. Hey, we'll just take what we get, right? And uh, we'll just have fun with it. So got a little bit further to go. And uh, once I get there, I'll turn the camera on. And uh, so I will see you out in the water. it out to the location so uh, let's get in the water let's see what we can find Well, I was getting a real choppy 74 here. This is actually an earring. I thought it was going to be a necklace, but it's actually an earring. And I haven't found anything out here today. Just a lot of pull tabs, bottle caps, and coins. Uh, but just that one ring, and this is, I found another little necklace while ago. It said a heart with the word best on it. And just past that, I got this. And as I turned it over, I can see markings in it right here. I think this is gold. It was ringing up... Uh, like it could be gold and it looks like a marking right there i have to look at it later on and see what it is i hope it's a gold necklace uh, uh, earring it's got some weight to it but who knows i don't have the eyes anymore to see it so let's put it in the pocket and let's keep on swinging well i got my first find i've been out here about 30 minutes got a lot of change and pull tabs and foil it's getting a 60, a real choppy 60 here, and uh, looks maybe like a gold-plated ring. I'm not sure. There's some markings in it, I think, but I can't really tell. But hey, that's the first piece of jewelry out of here so far. I don't think it's been hunted because I'm digging a lot of trash and bottle caps. But uh, anyway, I'll take what I can get. So let's keep on going. Well, not very far from uh, where I got that earring, just right over there. I was getting another 54 here. And it looks like it's going to be a very nice, uh, almost brand new silver chain. So uh, let's put that in the pocket and let's keep on going. I'm in a good hot spot. Well, I was getting a uh, 82 and it's, it's a ring. I think it's going to be silver. It's marked as a number seven, but I see no marking in it, but it's ringing up like a silver. It could be aluminum. Uh, I'm not sure, but it says grateful head on it there's another signal down here too just right beside it. i'm gonna dig it up and see what it is but hey it's my second ring i got a necklace and that gold earring uh, just not a lot out here so far but that's the way it is you know sometimes you, it's good and sometimes it's not if uh the amount of pull tabs and, and uh bottle caps and quarters my goodness i've dug so many quarters was any indication this hasn't been hunted it's just it just means it, it's just not a lot dropped so Let's, uh, let's keep on swinging. Let's take this other signal up and see what it is. All right, let's keep on. Well, I'm working myself back out of the lake here, and uh, I got a 43 solid signal. And uh, boy, what a beautiful, uh, beautiful ring. I can't see the markings in it, so I don't think it's stainless steel. I think it's actually a white gold ring. And I don't know if it's 10K or 14K. I have to look. And uh, But that's a beautiful ring right there. I'll tell you what. I hope it's gold. Just because it's gold's better than stainless. Not that I'm being selfish. It's one of my uh, 
uh, followers, subscribers said I was being selfish when I want something more. Hey, who wants a, a, a stainless steel ring over a gold ring? I don't know if anybody wants that. That's not that I'm being selfish. It's just uh, it's my preference. But uh, when I get back to the truck here in a few minutes, I'll look and see if this is uh, gold or is it going to be stainless. And, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, just kind of making a few more sweeps through here. Uh, and so we'll just keep on moving. All right, I'll see you at the next find. All right, I ran off this morning and forgot my sunscreen. I burn real easy. So I got this neck thing on. I can pull it up over my face. Strange bird. Uh, so I moved on from another lake and to a new lake right now. And the lake is very low. There's not much here at all. No, not much water. So let's get in it. Let's see what we can get. Well, this is good. Literally just got in the water and got an 80 signal and got some type of little necklace or bevel. Got something white in there. I don't know what that is. I'll have to dig that out. Anyway, hey, that may be something out here. Uh oh, just dropped it. Let's see if I can find it. Let's keep on going. Well, I was getting a 66 and uh, dug down here just about knee deep water. And uh, reached down there and dug it, and it popped up on my finger, and I looked at it and said, oh, this is great. And then I looked at it, the diamonds are missing, it's copper, it's gold-plated. It uh, just looks like a junker, is what it is. It's a pretty junker, though. Hey, let's keep on going. Hey, I was getting an 82, still here in about knee-deep water. Reached down there and pulled this up in my scoop, and check it out. I got my cross. It's an episode. All right, let's keep on swinging. Check this out. Preacher Digger then got him a cross number two. This was just feet away from that other cross, but check that out. It's a it's double episode this time, isn't it? Preacher Digger got his cross. All right, let's uh, put it in the pouch and let's keep on going. I'm out here a little bit about mid chest deep water. I was getting a solid 45, and it uh, turns out to be a gold ring with a little design on top. It's my second gold for the day. I can't see the marking on this one, see the 14 or probably going to be 10, but I'll take gold any day. All right, I like that. All right, let's keep on going. Through. Who needs a metal detector? I just found a rubber ring. Check that out. All right, let's keep on going. Well, that was a pretty good hole. Found quite a bit of stuff out of there. It went quiet. I've got one more hole, uh, maybe two on this lake, and then I'm gonna head back home, and there's one more lake on the way. So that will be actually three states and three lakes. So hopefully I can find a few more things. So run out of daylight. Well, I will run out of daylight. It's uh, about 1.30 right now and I'm about two and a half hours from home. So I've got to get on the road. So let's go. Well, I came to this third swim area. Didn't find anything at the second swim area. Came out here where I usually start like waist deep. Got a 42, couldn't get it up because the bottom's really, really rocky. So I moved on down the lake, came on back. I said, I'm going to try to get that up. That was a good 42. It didn't sound like trash. And lo and behold, I dug it up, and it's a little bitty ring. Check that out. And I actually think it's gold. I think it's going to be 10 karat. I know 10 karat gold will tarnish if it's in the water long enough. But I can see some yellow coming through that. We'll uh, get up to the truck later on and look and see if we can find a, a, a mark on it. But I think, you can see the edge right there, that is going to be a small gold ring. I mean, it is small. It's like a baby's ring. But, uh, hey, I'll take it. It's really rocky on the bottom. I can't really scoop. Not a lot of signals, so I'm probably going to head back to Texas and hit the third lake in my third state and uh, then head on to the house. So give this about 30 more minutes and I'll head on out. All right, let's keep going. All right. Made it down to my third lake. I mean, my third state, my home state. I started out in Oklahoma shot over to Arkansas shooting back down this way I got to go this way to go home 
So I'm going to hunt this for about an hour and a half. If I'm not finding stuff, I'm going to go home. If not, if I'm finding stuff, I'm going to stay here a little bit later and see what we can get. So let's get in the water. Well, I made it back in from the lakes last night pretty late. Uh, I did three different states, three different lakes, and what did I get? Uh, you already know by now, I got those three gold rings, and uh, wow, what a day it was. A lot of traveling, I just made a big circle is what I did. I went up to, from my state, shot up to Oklahoma, shot across to Arkansas, came back down to Texas, and just hit lakes on this circuit that I do every year at this time, and uh, tend to do pretty good. And I uh, didn't do as good as I've done in the past. Uh, I think I've done 12 rings in the past, and uh, this time it was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings uh, this trip. And well, this what was great about this trip, this was my third time to go out. And on my third time here, three weeks in a row, I've gotten three gold rings, and uh, just unreal. I've dug so many gold rings in the last month, so much gold. I think I've done more, dug more gold in the last month and a half than I have in the last two years combined. So it was a good trip. Uh, my water hunting season is going down to the last two weeks now. I'll probably have two more videos after this one. And uh, then I just hang it up for a couple of weeks and then I switch over to get ready to land hunt in, in late September. But I'm getting tired of water hunting now. It's getting wore out and I'm always sunburned. So let me turn you around, let me show you what I got. Well, here you go. Here is all the stuff that I found on this trip. Uh, some of you have been asking a lot about my equipment that I've been using. If you'll look down in the bottom of my video description, everything that I'm using, there's a link there. You can go and see those things and even order those things. But I'm using uh, the Seasoft uh, dye boots. I use them because they've got a real big heavy bottom on them. And that's really good for pushing on those uh, uh, big coils. Uh, those have worn out. They've been good boots, but these are really worn out now, tore up for two years of uh, constant use. I use a big scoop. I got a new scoop I'm going to reveal out uh, that I got from Poland. Uh, it shipped to Latvia, and I brought it back with me, and I'm going to reveal that in the next video. Uh, and uh, I use that. I use the AT Pro. Here's a relic uh, Omega Mill uh, water detecting pouch. Put your treasures in here, trash in there. And then just some Grey Ghost uh, Amphibian headphones. They don't make these. They still make these, but not like this. This one has the volume control. You can't find those anymore. And then I just use a uh, GoPro setup there. The yellow part there and right there is in case uh, they break off in the water, they'll float up and I won't lose them on the bottom of the lake. And so that is my equipment. The links are in the description. Check it out. If you want to buy one of those, just uh, click on that. It's, a lot of it's in, on Amazon. But anyway, here is the trash. Now I want to know what is that doing in the lake? I don't know. It gave a real iron grunt and I'm going to go ahead and dig it up anyway. But there's all the stuff, the, the aluminum trash, the miscellaneous stuff, the uh, vape pens, all the bottle caps, the beaver tails. I'll dig this one out because that's an old, old one there. And then the uh, square tab pools here. I ended up getting 5, 10, 15, 20 pennies and six uh, nickels and then we got five ten fifteen sixteen dimes and boy did I dig the quarters one two three four five six seven eight nine dollars and twenty five cents in quarters I dug an old flashlight I actually just eyeballed that in the clear water I the first time I've ever dug one of these a harmonica out of the lake uh, it's always a first time for something Dug a couple of uh, souvenir flat things. I got them turned over because if you see them, you'll know exactly what lake I was in. So I'm not going to reveal that to you. Uh, something here, I don't know what that is. It's just, uh, I don't know, ROC, I don't know. Got a big loop, smaller loop, and a smaller loop. I thought this was going to be gold. I looked at it, there were some markings on it, and then I saw Avon, and then I knew it wasn't gold. I got one stud earring. I got one bracelet. And then I've got several necklaces. One says the best on it, another heart, and this one here is silver, and it must have had two coins in it. So a silver bezel, and the coins are gone. Preacher Digger did get his cross, uh, but I even got one better than that. Check that one out. I got a nice big stainless steel 
black cross. This is going to be number like 53 or 54 now that I have of these. I'll put it in my collection. Very nice silver chain. And then here are my rings. I eyeballed this one actually. It's a rubber ring. Second one of those I've done. I've got this one. This was just a junker. You can tell. Uh, this is going to end up being a size 7. Grateful head. Whatever that means. It's just going to be an aluminum ring. And then some other type of little ring. Uh, it's non-precious. Uh, it could be gold plated. But here are my three gold rings. Check it out. I got one little small. When I dug that up. See if you can get over here where you can see it. Um, I knew it was going to be gold. It rang up like gold. It's a 10 karat gold. Dug this really nice 14 karat gold ring. I'll take those any day. And then this one, wow. This was the last one I dug out of that lake. And uh, a beautiful, beautiful engagement ring. Uh, put it online and have people try to help me identify it. It is an ashy diamond. I do collection ring and uh, I believe this might be even a custom design. I couldn't find it. I found one very similar to it. The one similar to it was $3,800 and that had one center diamond. These has three uh, diamonds, round halo, three eighths uh, carat in weight and 14 karat gold. And uh, so I would assume this is to be safe about a $4,000 ring. I love digging these rings, but there's a sad story behind it. There is some lady that has lost this and there's just, I'm trying to find the owner of it. And it's right now that to no avail. And you know that someone is sick to their stomach when they lost that. But why would they be wearing such expensive rings in, such, in, in a lake? Especially when the lake water is so cold, your fingers uh, reduce in size, and it's gold, it's heavy, it's going to slip off. I don't understand. But I would like to return it because I know the value because I've lost my wedding ring before. And uh, But anyway, what a find, a $4,000 gold ring. Look at it sparkle. That diamond just sparkle in the sun. Wow. Anyway, we're still going to try to find the owner to that and get it back. And we're just doing some research on it now. Anyway, there is the trash. And here is all the treasure. This is all in one day. Usually it takes me a week to get this much, but this was all in one day. Three different lakes, three different states, three gold rings. And what a great day it was. But the greatest day is not what you can go and you can find in a lake in one day and put on your tailgate and have three gold rings and have a great video. The greatest thing, my friend, is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy honey and God bless. thing that I've been forgetting to do and I apologize to Joe for this uh, about a month ago or so I had a someone asked me about promoting them giving them a shout out on my video and I didn't know who they were and I told them I don't normally do that because if I do it to one I got to do it to everybody and uh, maybe their videos may not be exactly what I want to promote and things like that so I just don't get in the habit of really promoting and doing too many shout outs but when I went over there and looked at his site. I found out that he was a young kid, 13 years old, trying to make it in YouTube. And I will do stuff for kids. I'll try to help them out. And uh, so I wrote him back and I uh, told him, I sent him some stickers and he wrote me back. And this is what he said and I want to read it to you. Joe writes, thank you for the Barber Dime and the Mercury Dime. And I might release my own stickers when I get a uh, professional looking logo. I love the videos. Thank you. Again, I'm 13 years of age and I'm starting to be successful at YouTube. Thanks makeshift sounds detecting 2.0 so if you can go over there on makeshift sounds detecting 2.0 and just give uh, joe a little bit of encouragement a little thumbs up if you want to go ahead and subscribe to his channel just tell him that preacher digger sent you over and show some 
some kids some love. I, I believe in helping kids out the best that we can, and hopefully he will be successful at YouTube. And Joe, thank you, and I will be looking forward to that sticker. When you get one, send it to me, and I'll put it on my detecting case. Until then, y'all go show Joe some love. God bless. <laughs>